a different kind of project pan and this is gonna be palettes of the month and this is basically something that I've already been doing for the last year or so but now I'm actually going to be recording videos I kind of got the idea of from project panning and then Alicia budget beauty Alicia budget beauty she tries different palettes during the month and does a overview of all the palettes that she's tried for the month. And so mine's gonna be a little bit different in the fact that I'm actually trying to see what I like, what I wanna keep, what I don't wanna keep, and my thoughts on the palettes or single shadows that I'm trying. And the way I've been doing this is that I have a, and I've talked about this in a previous video, I have a palette of the day wheel. This is the app called D decision what is it called daily decision and this little wheel daily decision app you open it and I have the settings and if you edit the wheel I have let's see how many I have don't judge me okay I have 186 palettes and at some point I would like to continue to declutter but I really want to use up as many as possible last year I used I want to say like 50 something 60 palettes in the year using these there was some days that I picked out palettes without using the daily decision so I probably used close to like 65 70 palettes in the whole year out of 186 this year I want to do better with that and really even the days that I'm off play around with makeup get back into like the love of it to so get back into the love of YouTube and I really want to get back into that whole swing of things and so I really want to do these videos which are going to be palettes of the month but it's also gonna include like single eyeshadows, etc. From my daily decision app this month, I only have one palette that it chose. The rest of them were palettes that I randomly selected out. January was a little bit of a hectic month for me, so I didn't really use the daily decision app, but this month going forward, I will be using it. And something that I have on here is that for it not to repeat palettes. And because I already am doing this video, I'm hoping not to repeat any of these, but let's get into it. First off is what's on my eyes today. We're on the last week of January when I'm filming this, and so I don't think I'll be picking out anything else. And this is the Glam Light Scooby-Doo Creeps and Crawls palette. I love these Scooby-Doo ones. They're superb. The glitters in here, like the shimmer shadows, are a chef's kiss the matte blend like so seamlessly okay and this is what the palette looks like i will be continuing to keep this because of how much i love it i bought this in 2022 and i have gotten quite a few uses from this i gravitate towards this a lot and the looks that i get from this is just stunning 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 but I really want to, I don't know, maybe do more get ready with me short videos where I fast forward through them. It seems like you guys kind of like the one that I posted and just put music to it. Let me know any of your ideas down below. But the mattes in here are beautiful. Both of the palettes from this Scooby-Doo collection are just gorgeous. And all of the shimmers on them are just just such amazing quality so highly highly recommend and this one's going to be in my collection another one that i reached for that was the only one that i used with my daily decision the rest of these i did looks with this month but i didn't use the wheel i just was in a hurry but this is the joy joy I want to say it's Joy. I feel like everybody pronounces it that way. The Ultra Foil Eyeshadow. I love the little dragonfly here on the top. And these shadows are very reminiscent of the Urban Decay Moon Dust. They're that shimmer formula that are absolutely stunning. The only thing with this palette is that either you wear this alone and then blend it up or you need to pair it with a matte palette. And the day that I wore this, I wanna say I just wore one shadow all over the lid. And so I don't mind if the, the Decision app picks this again because I can go ahead and use this with something else. But let me go ahead and swatch it for you guys so you guys can see. Look at how gorgeous these are. And when you put them all over the lid, they give that beautiful shimmer foiled look you can do a simple look with like all like one of these like this one right here all over the eye and just blend it up or put a little bit of a dark brown on the outer crease this 
palette is just absolutely gorgeous and so i will continue <laughs> to keep this i don't think this month i will be decluttering any of these to be honest next up we have tati beauty i wanted just a simple look and i really really loved it and i love her sequin shadows these right here this you just put it all over the lid and it has like a little bit of a sparkle to it hopefully the camera will pick that up and these are just stunning if homegirl tati i already signed up for her new i don't know what's coming she hasn't really like given a lot of hints as to what it is it seems as if she's going to relaunch this if homegirl relaunches this i would repurchase this that's how good this palette is I know that it's a little bit redundant as far as like the shades go because you have like four of these same tones, but the formulas in here are just stunning. The glitter, the metallic, the sequin, the matte is okay. I don't, you know, I use it more for darkening certain eye looks or, you know, having a crease color, but these formulations, this, the first three rows, Ugh. it's one of the reasons that even though her business went out of business and poor Tati disappeared on us and now homegirl came back I have not been able to get rid of this palette because I just can't with how good the formula is on this and so I'm hoping that she relaunches it and if she re relaunches it I would repurchase and then destroy this one because I know that these are expired but I haven't had any issues with them so i continuously use and love this palette i'm hoping that she brings it back and then i'm also hoping that because this was volume one that she comes out with the volume two um fingers crossed next is the pat mcgrath i have the mother mothership mega celestial odyssey i haven't bought anything new from pat mcgrath since the star war collection and i bought those basically because they were star wars this is one of her holiday palettes it's very very beautiful the only thing with this one is that there's a lot of shimmers and there's very few mattes i think there's only like uh, there's four mattes in here you can get a good array of different looks from here very beautiful i fell in love with pat mcgrath's formula because the mattes just blend very beautifully the shimmers are like just like buttery soft you know you literally can just take your finger and then swipe it across your eyelid once and you have like that foiled beautiful pigment my tiff with pat mcgrath just as a consumer and a makeup lover and someone who's has such a big collection is that i just feel that she stayed in her little bubble she hasn't come out with like really fun collections anymore a lot of the collections are very similar to each other another thing is they go on sale right away so it's like it, it took away from that va va boom of luxuriousness to okay i can wait until it goes on sale you know uh i don't know let me know what your thoughts are but i do love her formula i do you know really gravitate towards her but i feel like it's just every single palette is like a mid-tone brown a dark brown and then two shades or same neutral shades or pinky tone shades she has done the pinky tone for so long that it's almost like I, I I haven't seen anything new come out and so I'm not gravitating towards her brand anymore but this palette I really really loved it has pops of colors neutrals a little bit of everything in here and I really love the look that I got this month from it now I have some single eyeshadows because like I said I was in a rush this month I had a lot of things going on I use a lot of these single kind of products first up we have pixie they sent me this for for review purpose but I I had purchased these back in the day when they first launched i had like every single shade at one point this is the shade pixie green this is just a beautiful shimmer shadow like glittery beautifulness 
I wore this on the first of the month, the first day of this year. Love, love, love this. And I've used it a few times more just to add like a little glitter, just a very simple eye. You could apply this on top of other eyeshadow or you could wear it alone. I usually try to at least have some kind of base color, but this is just absolutely beautiful. Love these glitters. Next is something that I've seen a lot of bad reviews from and I don't know why. I don't know if I just got a really good one, but they sent me this for review purpose. This is the Merit Social Solo Shadow. And I love this. This is like a mauve beautiful tone. I have worn this by itself. I've worn this as a kind of like a base um, crease shade and then applied something on the lid. This is just beautiful. The way it dries down and blends is gorgeous. I don't know if I just got a really good one, but I've seen quite a few negative reviews and I'm just like, did I, did we get the same product? <laughs> but this is very beautiful. Look at how gorgeous this blends out and this just blends beautifully on the lid. It leaves like a gorgeous mauve crease shade or sometimes I just apply this all over the lid and then blend it up just like a very beautiful matte kind of mauve tone all over gorgeous another look that i did this month with that is applying this baby this baby is so old but i don't know if it's the nostalgia or the fact that i just love the way it looks but i bought this because of maddie mua back in the day if you know you know you probably have it because of him as well this is boom boom room homeboy did a look with this and i feel like everybody and their mother went out and bought it this is oh look at that it's kind of like that duo chromey but i love the fact that it's very different in that it has kind of like a pinky purpley tone to it so it has like that brown green that a lot of duo chromes have but it also has like a pinky purple in there and i feel like that's what makes boom boom room so different to a lot of those other ones so hopefully the camera will pick that up but it's just absolutely stunning and i have constantly had it in my collection from mac and just cannot declutter it because of how gorgeous it looks and then you apply this on top of a base like this or a sticky base and it just pops even more it's just so stunning on the lid so really really love the looks from that another thing that i paired with this baby back right here is these different uh it's bell cosmetics duo chromes i can't remember which one it was that i used this month uh, I want to say it was got a grape or bury me in it. I know I used two of these, but these, they're just so beautiful. I don't feel like the camera like picks it up. Hopefully it does. I feel like you guys are seeing some of the shifts. These little pigments right here, if you are looking for dual chromes, shadows that are just very different, that have like those multi kind of chromes, it's Bell is one of the most affordable indie brands and look how gorgeous these pigments are. They're just so stunning, very affordable. Her palettes are just chef's kiss. Uh, I would say start with the Break the Rules palette if you really want to get into her palettes or the Flair one. Those two are like my favorite ones. And so I've been pairing these as well and it's just such a simple look but it looks stunning on the eye because you just apply this all over the lid, blend it up and then apply this on the lid and blend it and it's just like wow, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Let me go ahead and show you guys on top of the Merit one what I'm talking about so you guys can see, look. Look how gorgeous that is. Obviously on your lid you would blend. And obviously you would have to envision this as like on the eyelid. So this would be kind of like your crease shade and then this on the lid and then you blend it up. But these are so, so beautiful. I feel like It's Bell isn't talked about enough as an indie brand and definitely needs more love. And those are all the products that I use this month for eyeshadow, kind of like my palettes of the month this month for January. And yeah, this month I won't be decluttering anything or getting rid of anything. 
but let me know if you guys like these videos if you want to constantly see them i feel like it's a good way of kind of revisiting formulas deciding whether i want to keep it whether it's worth it whether i want to give it a few more opportunities etc hopefully um more people will want to join in on kind of like this project pan and it's not like panning per se because it's impossible with 186 palettes to actually pan some of these but i really want to just feel like i'm getting usage i'm actually reaching for some of these palettes especially larger palettes like this i feel like larger palettes it's hard for me to physically reach for and so when my app tells me to reach for it i just bring it out the night before out into my beauty space or I you know go ahead and pick it out and then use it and I feel like that way I don't feel like I'm skimming on some of these palettes anyways I hope you guys like this kind of um, project use it up or using products kind of thing hopefully some of you guys will join in thank you guys so much uh for watching and if you join in definitely tag me or leave your video down below if you do do it whatever it is like let me know so that i go watch and support you as well thank you guys so much for watching for subscribing if you ain't subscribed it's free hit that little red button i have my social media down below and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys